right. Hey, what's going on, guys? Happy Saturday morning to you. Welcome to part two of the Jedi Fallen Order playthrough. Got to play a little bit of it last night, but definitely not nearly as much as I wanted to. So we continue it all today. And I'm pretty hyped about it. So let's get back into it. Quick summary of where we left off. They, there might be a thing in the game that actually shows me where we left off, but pretty much this kid works on this like scrapping planet, mining and stuff, and um, something breaks and his friend's about to fall, and he last minute saves him with the force, and it's like, oh, this guy has the force, and then these people come looking for him. These people come look at, come to the planet looking for this treasonous person who's following the Jedi way because they're trying to kill all the Jedi. And he gets found out, and then they're chasing him, and then he gets rescued by these random people. And uh, we were taken away in the ship with these random people that rescued us, and now we're looking for a guy who's going to help us, like, rebuild the Jedi Order or something. So, it's going to be awesome. And if we can get a better... If we can get a better uh, summary here somewhere, hopefully. Quest, chapter one. Yeah. <clears throat> here we go. We'll just read this real quick. Cal, former Jedi Padawan, has been hiding out on Baraka since Order 66. Cal joined a scrapping crew and lived in hiding for years, but blew his cover when he used the Force to save his friend Prof from a deadly fall. This prompted the ruthless Second and Ninth Sisters to attack him. Cal was narrowly saved by two mysterious individuals. Sarah, Junda, and Grease Dredus. I don't know if I'm saying that right, so feel free to make fun of me if I did. Now they find themselves on the remote planet Bogano, ready to discover the secrets of an ancient vault. Sounds pretty cool. Sounds pretty cool. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going right now. Let's see. Uh, so it looks like just straight. Maybe I come across this wall or something. Yeah, that looks like a very climby wall. Then again, I've thought that before. Oh my gosh. Okay, wow, dude. How are you just gonna do that? You yeah, get out of here with that. Random slimy worms showing up. Ugh. Do I have to fight this guy again? No, I probably just have to take the elevator. Wait. So creepy. <laughs> Bring it on, guy. Why did I never think about this? I really hope I don't have to fight this big guy again. Nice. Doesn't look like it. I can heal, right? I can heal right here. <clears throat> just, uh, just rest. There we go. Enemies have respawned, right? So is the big guy gonna be? Yep, there he is. So that's the price you pay for uh, healing or resting. jump right I can jump thank gum it oh, I don't want to fight the big guy again can I just do it without him like how is this not a climbable wall load my last save. I don't want to go back. Oh, 
It's alright, at least it'll respawn me back up there, I hope. Yeah, I put this on a Jedi Master difficulty, and that might have been a mistake. <laughs> it's, it's pretty tough already. Oh, man. Okay, great. So here we are. Man, I probably don't even need to go that way. So let's just... Is there over here? Anything interesting? Probably. Man, I really hope they add dismemberment to everything and not just the creatures, because it's the best thing ever. That's what lightsabers are all about. Oh, the fish. Cool. Well, I don't know where... Where I'm supposed to go from here. I can't climb up there, seriously, bro. can't see what I just looked at. I just realized so I looked weird. I pulled up the uh, game overlay. Alright, we gotta think outside the box here. Oh, should we just climb up? We climb up that thing, maybe? Oh, we jump across to the mines. Duh. Or not. Do I have to get, like, a sprinting start, maybe? figure this out. <clears throat> Something with the force? No. <laughs> what am I missing here? Maybe I do need to go back out. Wait. Okay, didn't see this before. <laughs> uh, that sounds like a big creature somewhere. These walls look like I should be able to run on them. You know what I mean? There's something in the water, isn't there? 100%. 100% there's gonna be something in the water. Alright, let's see it. I just don't like the sound it's making. See something in there? Hey, what's over here, man? Yes, the path is difficult. It may seem impossible, but with persistence and the Force as your ally, well, baby you will Jedi. overcome any obstacle. You will master any path. Now, do what you must to reach me. Okay. Oh, this is cool. Good. Again. 
See, it, it makes it more believable that he's a Jedi. Reach my position. You see this in other games, it's just like, come on. I did it. Resistance and I the totally Force called my that. ally. I totally called that. Just remembering old tricks. Now I can go back to those other spots. You can show me that shortcut again. Okay, so now we go back up there, we can actually do it. And we can do this. This area was used for meditation by someone familiar with the Jedi Order. Oh, I thought that was going to lead to something. Okay, let's go back. switch required okay cool change lights are parts on work benches yes as you can tell you like that as you can tell i've already modified my lightsaber quite a bit hey it looks dope all right can i uh can i use this the elevator i want to use i think it's the elevator Nice. I mean, I guess I didn't care if we needed to do shortcuts, but we're here. So, we can come back 100% later. That's a really big bug. Where? Yes! <laughs> I love it! I love cutting things in half with lightsabers. Doesn't get old. Nice job. Blocks. Attack in large groups and able to contort evasive strikes, but easily killed. Good to know. Oh, that. Holy crap. Yeah. Oh, man, I thought that was going to be a... Yeah. I thought that was going to be a nice little, little wall running spot. Someone made camp here. They were excited to discover a giant creature that lives close by. A binog, they called it. Is that going to be like the big boss for this? For this uh, world, maybe? Man, I love I love this game already. I love the music. I love the uh, codex entries. So is this not somewhere I can go? It is okay. Nice. Bye. I've already been here. Oh, I can't go back up. Uh, 
wouldn't make sense. Why would I be able to go back up? Doesn't make sense by the laws of physics. So I have to seriously go all the way back. Please, why? That hurts me. Now we can just do this. Oh, good. Can you... Okay, so we can't go across that thing? Is that the deal? Look at the map this time. Reach the vault. I'm not sure I fully remember. Oh, okay. Okay. So we don't want to cross here. Probably want to get to this to go up a level. Wait, that's up a level? Man, I'm confused. This says this is unexplored? Okay. Yeah, let's turn around then. wild man well I, I want to take a quick video of this guys oh man can't wait to fight this guy check out the lightsaber I made it's pretty legit it's pretty legit Okay. Am I supposed to just run across and jump? Nope. Thank God, it, man. Fine, though. Sweet. Shouldn't waste my force on that those things. It's nothing really, just a circle. Ah, come on. Sorry about your scoff link, but standing up to that bog rat, pretty brave. Hey, speedy one. Oh, all right then. What was in there? Lightsaber suit. Cool. Yeah, so that's probably going to be a big old boss fight, isn't it? Doesn't look that mean though. He looks like a nice creature. Um. Let's 
this? That's cool. Hey, BB1. Okay. Oh, we're about to do some wall running. You there? Oh, it's on. So cool, man. So cool. What a cool planet. <laughs> That'd be hilarious if it would let me do that. We're not finished yet. Okay, okay. You probably would have won. Probably. I think, oh, I don't have a skill point available. We'll just rest then. Replenish our stuff and, uh, yeah. That probably means we're about to hit something big. Good job. Offerings. Relics contain materials that aren't purely decorative potentially objects of religious significance so naturally I gotta slash at him like a moron Here for centuries, it appears the only way to open the vault is by using the force. Nice. Good thing we've got the force. Amazing. Whoa. Huh? You all right, BD? Well done, whoever you are. You have passed the test I left behind and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Eno Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this vault is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron, containing That's a, a list of the names well. and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the Force as the Zephyr once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zephyr homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. Sweet. And may the Force be with you. Mm, there's that buzzword. Buzz phrase. I 
guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. Yeah, what are the chances? You know, I've been alone for a while now. Without any purpose, just hiding. There's no way to live. Not for a Jedi. It's true, man. You or gotta have purpose. Seer was right. Maybe we're done hiding. Seer, hey. that's how you say your name. You want to meet some uh, friends of mine? <laughs> Destination unlocked. Zeppo. I bet I still have to fight that big guy before we leave. Search Zepho for ancient tombs. Use a hollow table on the mantis. I, mean, I assume that's our ship. Don't think I can fast travel back, and you know what? That's fine. Confirm. I think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. It's a good thing he's thin and not fat. Nobody fat can get through that. That's fun. Oh, this guy again. Seriously? Stim, now! That gummit! BD1, Stim! Damn it! Oh! This is not looking good, guys. Come on. You're gonna be stupid. I need to use the force more. I really have not been doing that enough. We still have the same. Yeah. Oh yeah. a little more. Oh, 
Okay, we're doing this better. We got this. He dead. All right. Stupid, dumb, weird, wiggly, giant, lizard thing. <laughs> nice. All right. I should tend to these wounds. Definitely gonna have to fight that guy. No doubt about it. What's this? Nothing? Nothing interesting? Scanning again? Fossils. The structure of these bones suggests a large reptilian creature as old as a thousand years. That's cool. Okay, well. Go down. Maybe. Abandoned workshop. Sweet. Can I do lightsaber stuff here? from the other side. Okay. That's fine. Hey, good morning, Tara. Welcome to the stream. Pleasure to have you here. What were those things? I mean, do I want to go down here? This looks cuttable. <laughs> or not. What is the point of this? Oh, so much, Tara. That's so cool. It appears the Zepho had some interest in death on here. Strange. For such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. Discovering Dathomir. All right, well, we'll we'll explore that place eventually. Yeah, you know what it you know what it feels like. It feels like Uncharted but in Over the here. Star Wars universe, and that is not a bad thing. All right, we almost have another skill point, but for now we rest. I'll be right back, guys. I'm just gonna use the restroom and get a drink. So, hang tight.
I'm back. I gotta pace myself with this coffee because it's so early. Okay, so quick recap again for anybody that might just be joining. Way. We're trying to get back to our ship. We landed on this like old Jedi Temple planet. Found a recording of a guy who's like, hey, we have a holocron that tells us where a bunch of young force-sensitive people are for rebuilding the Jedi Order, but I don't know if I can trust you, so go do this trial so I know I can trust you. So, I think we're trying to make, it our, make our way back to the ship so that we can go to this place to do this trial or something like that. There's our ship. Oh, where's that big guy? He, see, there's a giant monster over there, and I feel like we're definitely going to have to fight him before we get back to the ship. That just seems to make sense, like the big boss of the planet or whatever. Interesting. So we're going to swipe down here and then run across? Or should we go a different way? It's interesting how it gives you different options, different ways you can go. And there is exploration. It's not like full on open world, but it's oh, not. Hi there. It's not just straight, like go this way. It's like you do have some options. I dig that. What is down here? See, if I go down here, I risk not being able to come back up. Let me do this. There we go. Nice. Nailed it. I shouldn't try to kill the cute little fox things. Where did that guy come from? Maybe we don't have to fight the big... He's looking like it, maybe, though. Hmm. Thanks for the help. Boggling tunnel. They serve as natural defense against predators able to dig five meters per day. Bogglings collaborate in heckles or large packs, spending approximately one third of their lifespan digging the intricate tunnel network. So are we good? We don't have to fight that guy? I'm sure we will eventually. Uh, how do I get in? Oh, there she is. You passed the test. So you knew about BD-1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, she knew all about this. Oh, BD-1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? <laughs> get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! Don't! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD-1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stain out of patoli mean fabric? Not really. Oh. I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us droid is very important. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of four sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Nice. Oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A hollow what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Nice. <laughs> that is not what I remember holocrons looking like, but that's cool still. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. Obi-Wan? With that list of Force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron mm. is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zepho homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. 
How come you're no longer a Jedi? Mmm, the real questions. I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. It's true. Are you with us? We're in. Darth Mir is Efo. It's your choice. Dathomir, he said, was the dark planet. Why would anyone want to go there? Pretty wild. Seer sent Cal to an ancient vault. Along the way, Cal found a friendly droid named BD-1 who joined his quest. On their journey, Cal reached out to the forest, remembering his ability to wall run inside the vault. BD projected a message from Master Eno Cordova detailing how he hit a holocron containing a list of known Force-sensitive children within. To access it, Cal must find the tombs of three Zepho sages. With BD's aid, Cal embarks on a journey to rebuild the Jedi Order. I love it. Hmm. Where to? Only explored 52%. It's pretty legit. Pretty legit. Hmm. I am very curious about Dathomir. But our main quest says Zepho. But I honestly don't care to just go straight with the main quest. Let's go to Dathomir. The dark planet. Um, how do I travel to a planet? How does it say 1% of Dathomir? Really? Okay. I mean, you said it was my choice. Setting course for Dath... Wait a minute. You want to go to Dathomir? I'm surprised Cordova went there. I must have had good reason. I am staying put on the Manus once we arrive. Red sunlight cannot be good for your skin. This place used to be home to a powerful cabal of Force uh, so known cool. as the Night Sisters. They used the Force? What, like Jedi? No. These witches served only themselves. Their powers focused on deception, this is awesome. illusion, manipulation. <laughs> Sounds like someone I used to know. Mm -hmm. During the Clone Wars, the Night Sisters made a deal with a Sith Lord who betrayed their trust. In the end, they were nearly wiped out in a massacre. Dathomir is a deadly place. We should be careful. All right. You don't have to tell me twice. The Night Sisters of Dathomir were a coven of powerful Force sensitive, skilled in the use of magic and expression of the Force, unknown to Jedi or Sith. Previously ruled Dathomir, Night Sisters said it was strictly matriarchal. With the coven answering to a mother who also ruled alone. It was destroyed at the behest of a vengeful Count Dooku. Wow. Ah, coming up on our creepy destination. Grab some seat, kid. I don't even know why we're here, honestly. Did I just have a choice? Do you know anything about the Night Sisters of Dathomir? I knew a little. Many Jedi weren't even aware of their existence, but being Cordova's apprentice came with some unique insight. He always thought they were interesting, as he did with most ancient cultures. And what did you think? I never came here. I never wanted to. As I recall, that was about the time the two of us began going our separate ways. The darkness always has an effect, one way or another. All right. So, just recap on, like, why we're even here.
Yeah, I don't know why we're here. I honestly don't. But I'm down to explore. Oh, here we go. The Zepho had some interest in Dathomir. Strange for the culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. There's more to be discovered on Dathomir. Simple as that. Definitely looks creepy. standing there I press jump what is that thing count on him being friendly yeah probably isn't that looks like a Star Wars death claw Difficulty is really <laughs> it's tough. It's all good. I like the challenge. I like the challenge. How far back is this gonna put me? Yeah, it's kind of annoying. Okay, yeah, look at that crazy monster. Wild. I thought it was gonna replay it, but it didn't. That's smart, smart game. Let's go up here. Part of Night Sister funerary rites. Weird. Is that a spider thing? Nice. Oh, geez. Skill point acquired. That's why we're here. That's why we're on this planet now. We're, we're building up our XP and skill points. Good to know. Dude, these guys look like I can't go anywhere because they're shooting that stuff everywhere. You missed them. Bro, this is tough. Yeah, I'm, 
might have to tone down the difficulty. We'll see. If, it, if I keep struggling super hard, might not have a choice. I'm all the way back here for real. Uh, can I go up here? No. Come on, guy. Come on. There we go. Oh my gosh, freaking move. Do a stim, I pressed the freaking button. Gosh, get up! I literally thought he was dead. I didn't move because I thought we killed him. <clears throat> yeah, it just reminded me. Change the difficulty anytime. Yeah, I probably, probably should change the difficulty. It's really annoying having me go through this a thousand times. This is where the Dark Souls part of it comes in. <laughs> Alright, we're beating this guy this time. Hands down. Oh my gosh, I don't understand how to time these attacks. BD1? Go! Dude! What? So he like attacks right as he's dying? Good lord. I'm lesser. Looking. Lesser? That's a lesser? Goodness. Okay. Easily thrown off by... I keep forgetting about parrying. Wow. Okay. I'm so stupid. Parry, man. Parry. The scourge of Dathomir, the deadly lesser Nidak, is an agile and highly aggressive alpha predator. Its carnivorous appetite and the relentless pursuit of prey makes it a deadly foe to nearly all other life forms. Powerful arms allow it to range in reverse and unparalleled methods often surprising in its quarry. Yeah. Man, I, I'm, I'm a tiny little hit away from death right now. Oh, here we go. This is tough. Of course. I go all the way back here.
Is my skill point still available, or did that go away too? Like, is that? I mean, I guess so. I have two skill points available. Can I? Okay, yeah, I have to get them when we go to those things. All right, well, now that we know that this guy is susceptible to um, repeated parries, maybe we have a chance. Okay. I tried to do repeated form very Everything's fine. Everything is just dandy. Oh my gosh, I'm so sick of going across this thing over and over again. Can I climb up this instead? No. better if I could just climb across that. If I'm struggling so much with one of the first enemies on this planet, imagine how bad of a time I'm gonna have when we get to like the boss fights. didn't it? I need help. I parry him. I parry him. And then it's like, oh, you have a chance to attack now because you parried him perfectly. And he's all like vulnerable. And then it's like, nope, he attacks you again right there. shouldn't have done the parry technique that it suggested because I had already beaten him once without the parry technique. But I probably should get used to using it anyway. It's honestly kind of fun. I'm having fun even though it's annoying. Got a nice couple hits. Oh my gosh, dude. Stim. There's no way to predict his attacks. Jeez. I need help. gonna beat this guy even though I've already beaten him I'm just so sick of climbing these freaking vines maybe I should come back to this planet after I beat the FO thing
my gosh. Toss it. Jeez, dude. I can't slow him down. There we go. That's a good start. Come on. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Jeez, it's so quick. He damages my health so much so quick. Oh my god. Freaking one. heal! I pressed parry so many times. I'm so annoyed. Uh... It's like so annoying, but I want to be them so bad. I could easily just get on the ship and head to the other planet, or even, I don't even have to fight the guy. I just want to be him. On that, you stupid, weird Star Wars death claw. That's right. Stupid and dumb. I beat you and I didn't even use all my health thingies. I gotta fight these guys. That's not moving. Let's go. This 
leads to... Oh, okay, there we go. a secret way that we can go from the ship? No. No, it's not. Interesting. Very interesting level design. I wish I could heal. A Checkpoint would be great after all this. No data found of nothing good. So weird. FG. Okay. Looks like the Zeppo were here. This seems abandoned, but... You trespass, Jedi. You must be a night sister. I had heard you were all dead. Not all. Dothamir is forbidden to you. Leave at once. Well, I'm afraid I can't do that, but perhaps we could help each other. You see, I... Easy. I'm not your enemy. Your actions say otherwise. Wait, hold on. I'm not here to... I'm about to die. Move forward! Stop him from moving! All right, that's not blockable. Not stand Red attacks are not might. blockable. How far back is it gonna put me? Is it gonna put me back to the ship? If it puts me back to the ship, I'm gonna stop playing for now. Well, that's going to be it for this stream, guys. Thanks for stopping by. It's been fun. I'm going to play more very soon. Don't you worry. I'm just going to break from this um, frustrating, really difficult game that is very difficult. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you on the next stream. Shouldn't be too long. Catch you guys later. Have a nice Saturday.